Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I bring you guys my top five favorite weapon skins in COD Mobile. Guys, we did talk about it yesterday on stream. I was thinking about my favorite weapons. I was asked about my favorite skins. And I ask you guys, what are your favorite skins in the game? There are tons of super nice skins in the game. And some of them are very, very rare. And I know it would be easy to just go ahead and say, oh, the best skins in the game are all the epics. The lava is animated. The Cosmo skin, super rare, animated, very cool. And some of them, like the red action, uh, the CQB, the Royal Crimson, are just so, so rare. And they also change the weapon models. But I decided to not include epics in my top 5. My top 5 will be only rare. So all of them are blue rarity. So they are kind of accessible for anyone. Uh, although they're not that common. I'm gonna be honest guys. It was very hard to choose only 5. There are so many cool skins in this game. And there are way more than 5 that I really like. So let's go guys. And before we start make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's go with number 5. My number 5 is the brand new Abomination skin available as reward for the new zombie mode in COD Mobile. So all you have to do is play a lot of zombies and you will get some purple shards and blue shards. When you have enough shards you can craft these weapons. There are only two Abomination weapons right now is the AKS-74U and the ASM-10. The AKS is a very good weapon overall. It's one of the top SMGs. It's very good in ranked multiplayer. The ASM-10 is maybe underrated. It's not the most popular AR because some of the ARs in this game are super powerful. The problem with the ASM-10 is the low fire rate. But it's dealing really good damage and it's very accurate at long range. So it's a decent weapon. But once again, at close range you're just gonna get destroyed by the fast fire rate weapons. But it's not why it's my favorite skin, it's just because I like the aesthetics, the really cool contrast with the pink and the blue. Also, first when it was spoiled, I had no idea what Abomination was. But now that we have the zombie mode, now we know what Abomination is. It's the final boss on the hardcore raid and it's really cool. The weapon is really nice. Now, of course, the Juboko is also a really nice skin. It didn't make my top five, unfortunately, because once again, I had to choose only five. But Juboko is really, really cool also. It's just, I think the Abomination stands out a little bit more. Now, let's go with number four, guys. My number four favorite skin in the game is the Electric skin. There are very few weapons with the Electric skin right now available. The HG40 was a reward a while ago. I think when you made your first purchase of COD points or something, they were giving you the HG40 electric as a gift for buying COD points. Something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And once again, the weapon looks pretty cool, but HG40, not a great weapon. The only other electric skin I have is the Striker electric. I got that in some crates a while ago. And seriously, I love it. I use it in Battle Royale as one of my favorite skins. And I always get super nice comments about it. People ask where I got it. So yeah, it's pretty rare. It's super beautiful. The only thing though, a bit disappointed is it's not animated. It's just a static uh, electric design on the blue paint. So I really love the colors, but I would really, really like if it was animated. Like some of the super cool skins we have right now, like the Cosmos skin. It's animated, so I know they can do it, but they decided to just not do it on the electric skin. So that's it, guys. My number four electric skin, Striker and HG40. Now let's move on to number three, guys. Evil Clown skin, believe it or not. I know it's pretty common on the M16 because you get it just by leveling up. I also got the S36 here, and it's pretty rare. It was available as a reward for one of the ID collection events. I think it was the first one. And yeah, S36 is a very decent LMG. Now, the Evil Clown skin is really well made, really dark, purple on black with the Evil Clown. Uh, the green shades really stand out, great contrast. The M16 is pretty common because you get it as a level up reward. And there are not many weapons with the Evil Clown skin. I think there's only two right now. I've seen the backpack also, it's very rare. I also think you can get frag grenades in the shop. So Evil Clown made my top 5 because it's very unique, it's beautiful, it stands out from the rest. Uh, leave me a comment below guys, do you have other Evil Clown skins outside the M16 and the S36? Because I don't even know if there are others available. 
Now let's move to number two on my list is the Magic Bull skin. Guys, I love this skin and I remember my first ever, it was the RPD. I got it as a reward for an older ID collection event once again. And I remember my reaction when I got the gift and I saw the weapon revealed and I was just, wow, this is such a beautiful skin. I like the bright colors. I like the contrast, the red and the yellow and the bull on it. It's really special. It really stands out. Now, maybe this one is more common. We have more weapons with the Magic Bull skin. The RPD, once again, the AKS is available in the Magic Bull skin. The AK-117, which is one of the best weapons in the game right now, is also available in Magic Bull. It was also available in crates, but also the Arctic 50 Magic Bull was available, I think in uh, one of the lucky, lucky spins or something. I use these in Battle Royale a lot. They are some of my favorite skins in the game. It's beautiful. And now we are down to number one, the last on my list, my favorite skin in the game. And I know if you guys watch my streams and my videos, you probably already know what number one is. My number one favorite skin in the game is the Headless Rider skin. I remember the first one or the first time I saw it, it was again a reward for ID collection and I just didn't know what to think of it. I think it was around the Halloween and I just didn't get the design but I thought it was beautiful. I like green, I like green weapons uh, and I like the shades of dark green and yellow. I like the orange on the mag. So I really like this skin but I didn't understand it at first and after that reading your comments you guys told me uh, it's the, like the jack-o'-lantern head on the the mag the orange stuff but i like the shades the different greens the dark the dark skin is cool now not long ago they added another one the cheek arm headless rider was available at the start of season two and i think it's when you made your first purchase on season two you get it for free now this is just super super cool so first thing i did i went to my battle royale loadout i equip it to my elite pmc and i thought it was super cool especially with the headless rider backpack and my elite pmc one of my favorite character skins in the game and that day i said guys i love this skin so much i want all my battle royale weapons in headless rider skins if it's possible i would buy them i would open crates now funny thing is the day after i said that they released the AK-117 Headless Rider. It is now my number one loadout, my favorite go-to weapon for ranked multiplayer. It's the weapon I use the most in rank right now. So guys, that was my top five favorite skins in the game. Let me know in the comments, what is your top five? Do you have a different top five than mine? Do you agree or not with my top five? I cannot wait to read you guys' comments. And that will be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other stuff. Take care.